Yes, I'm being fined five thousand for the flopping violation, LeBron. It is what it is. Did you earn it? Did I earn it? I quit it. Next question. Butler throws a tough pass inside. Here comes Cole, and we got a whistle. Boy, that was close to a flagrant for on Nate Robinson. He delivered a pretty good blow on that pass. Transition. Watch this right here. He hits him in the face. And you can hear the crowd reacting. Interpret it to be unnecessary. There's a better look at it, Marv. Yeah, and a flagrant two if contact is interpreted to be unnecessary and excessive. That looked like Nate was going after the... He's having a little fun. <laughs> oh, that's a foul. Now I've got to see this one again. If Paul George really did get LeBron James in the throat area here. Here's the curl. Uh-oh. That may be another foul. Is that a $5,000 foul? That, that may be another. Well, I think he's already had one, so doesn't it go up to 10? That's right. It escalates. About, could this be a... Another fine for LeBron James on the flop right there. Has I mean, to be. There was a little bit of contact there, but not as much as. Contact by James. Instead, it's a takeaway for LeBron. Six early turnovers. That is room last touch by West. Going to be Miami ball. As West disagrees with John Goble's call. Yeah, I like the fact that that was a hard trap. You're going to see it right there. Now it comes down to whether or not the ball definitely is off LeBron James. All right, as the ball almost came to you to give you a little one on that reflected just enough for the Pacers to have to get it and get a shot up. Oh, points the Pacers outscored the Heat 28 to 14 in the third quarter. He pushed him, but flagrant? That's not a flagrant. They called that flagrant? Oh, come on. What kind of league are we becoming if that's a flagrant foul? Yeah, I see how low LeBron James was getting just funning David West. James just went down as George. Funning David West. James just went down as into the court so they can avoid those struggles putting the ball in the basket. Rose looking for the steal, made contact with James, and the foul called. Second on Rose. On James here, look after the play. It's a little bit of a... Shot clock down to seven. Haywood comes to help. And the win of penalty. Crowd doesn't like the call. <laughs> calls and a technical foul on Rick Cole. Three free throws now for Miami. Here's the personal foul. That's a flop. Entry pass into Gibson. Gibson swallowed up. And Muhammad fouls LeBron James and then a technical foul on James. And Muhammad for some reason shoves James. And we're having it again. Players losing their call because James fell down. That's just a foul. So James throwing him down, and then Muhammad responding to it. You know what? I get it, why he called the tee. This one's obvious. But the Pacers able to keep the heat out of that, that game that they like to play. Rhythm, spacing, slow. Now, how can this happen? You're going to tell me little DJ Augustine is going to go to the chest of LeBron James and knock him down like that. Augustine is surprisingly strong, Reggie. Are you kidding me? Winning the championship on this floor. Here's the last play. As Fisher picks up his second. Derek Fisher is one of the few guys that actually could knock LeBron James down. He dropped... Play, play up and then... Good anticipation by 
James for the steal, and I'm not giving him that call. If I'm the referee, fall out of bounds, good. Nick Ball going the other way. And they're both battling for it. J.R. Smith and the Knicks didn't like the call. <laughs> they just showed the replay on the big screen. Like he was trying.